We have solved the maximization problem before in the Giappetto example. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how we can also solve a minimization problem. So in this example, Dorian Auto manufactures luxury cars and trucks. It wants to start a TV advertising campaign. It says that it has decided to purchase one-minute commercial spots on two types of programs, comedy shows and football games. Notice here that it says has decided to. So this is a clue for the decision variable because this is something that Dorian Auto needs to decide or has already decided. So this is really a strong clue for decision variables. And then you see that there are some data about comedy, some data about football commercial, and then the cost for the comedy ad and the cost for a football ad. And then when you see these kind of words like at least, at most, only, or such things like that, it usually gives you the clue about constraints. So here you can see that Dorian would like the commercials to be seen by at least 28 million high income women and so on. And then finally, this is the objective. Dorian Auto wants to meet its advertising requirements at minimum cost. So pause the video and take some time to really digest all the information in this problem. So the problem description already gives us some clue about the decision variables, which is the number of one minute comedy ads purchased and the number of one minute football ads purchased. We denote them as X1 and X2. And then the objective function is to obtain a minimum cost. So the cost for each comedy ad is $50. And then the total comedy ads that we want to purchase equals X1, so 50 times X1. The cost for each football ad is $100. And the total number of football ads that we would like to purchase is X2, so 100 times X2. And this is our objective function. So the first constraint, if you look at the problem description, it says that our commercials, both in the comedy ad and football ad, must reach at least 28 million high income women. So for each comedy ad that we put, we get the attention of 7 million high income women. So 7 million is just for one comedy ad. But remember that the total comedy ads that we are going to put on TV is X1, which means that we get the attention of seven times X1 high income women from the comedy ads. Same reasoning here for each football ad, we get the attention of two million high income women. But remember that we want to put the number of total football ads as many as X2. So in total, we get 7X1 plus 2X2. It must be greater than or equals to 28. Another constraint says that commercials must reach at least 24 million high income men. Again, for each comedy ad, we get the attention of 2 million high income men, and then we put as many as X1 comedy ads. So, 2 times X1. For each football ad, we get the attention of 12 million high income men, and then we put as many as X2 football ads. And the total of this must be greater than or equals to 24, right? Because at least means that 
we must reach greater than or equal to 24. Last but not least, as always, we need to put the sign restrictions. We cannot put a negative number of ads on the TV, so X1, X2 must be greater than or equals to zero. Now we're going to find the optimal solution for the Dorian author problem using the graphical method. We're going to draw an ISO cost line. Even though the name is different with the maximization problem, the steps are just the same. This is ISO cost that was ISO profit, but it's just the name um, different, but the steps are the same. First, we choose any feasible point, for example, 4.4, we compute the Z value by plugging in X1 equals 4, uh, X2 equals 4 to this equation. We got Z equals 600. And then we place the Z with this value, 600, and then we get the ISO cost line. Because this is a minimization problem, you drag this line, but keep it parallel to that ISO profit line, so you drag it down until it reaches the minimum point that it can touch. So the optimal point here is the point E, which equals X1, X1 equals 3.6, X2 equals 1.4, with the Z value 320. So here are the questions to check your understanding. I will give you the answer after the pause of the video. If we use the 12.0 as the feasible point to create an ISO cost line, which one of these four options is the correct ISO cost line? The answer is A, because if you plug in 12.0 to this equation, you will get Z equals 600. The second question, which LP assumptions are violated in the Dorian auto problem? Remember that we have four assumptions that underlining the linear programming model. Well, in fact, all assumptions, proportionality, additivity, divisibility, and certainty, they are all violated in the Dorian auto problem. For further explanation, please read your textbook.